this is with Guru and I'm Robin and I'm starting with Silver Glow with um, Dazzle Dry and it's over OPI's Put It In Neutral and I'm getting just the tips done so it's kind of like a French ombre, real easy, real qu quick and gorgeous. Oops. Okay, so I switched brushes. I'm working with my liner brush and I have it all the way filled. I have um, the, the, the hand and I am on the neck, right on the neck of the brush, and I am tapping, bump, 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 bump. I want you to practice on paper towel first, and then, oops, so you don't do that, and then you tap, and get splatter paint effect. Now you could go and do this a million different ways with, with um, a million different colors, but I'm gonna go, this is just part one of my design today like that. I want to get at least one line in the rest dots, but just I want one good line at least per nail. So that I already got, so yay. Like that. Okay, I'll finish that out. And if you can't get this right away, don't worry, just keep practicing on paper towels. Okay, so now I have my liner brush and I'm ready for step two. Now I saw a backdrop of somebody's shower curtain on a film. Now I don't remember what film it was, but it was splatter paint that turned into flowers. And I said, you know what? I am gonna do that on fingernails and I am gonna do that on Guru. And so I had everything ready, didn't I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had all. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have us both in aprons. <laughs> We're both covered in little spots, but it's turning. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking the line. I see why I needed a line. So so I go like this. I take a line, and then if there's a little cluster of dots or whatever, I kind of cover through some of them, so that it takes out some of the splattery and gives it more of a uh, design effect. So this would be really super cool and easier to do if you had black nails and you used white paint because white paint is much easier to splatter than black and I used a really hard color to splatter because I really wanted to do this bad and it was getting to me. So there's that and when you are finished it'll look like that. So I'm going to, so, so see where I went over in here there was a bunch of uh, splatters and so I made some leaves, I covered it up with a full flower, made another flower here just to take out some of the dots and leave more lines. Where I need more lines, for example, I will take my brush, create myself a little splatter line like this as if it had been splattered itself then you won't be able to tell the difference and you say well what's the difference between doing just that and doing a splatter design with a splatter design it's all organic and so it looks like how did, how did they do that there's no rhyme or reason whereas if I end up putting lines in it, it looks painted so hopefully you un understand that see how I'm going through all the splatteries here and creating the flower I don't like the way that this flower is going to be shaped, so I'm going to shape it into a leaf and pull it out, and then turn this into a leaf, pull it out, and pull it out. See, there's no really, there's no end to what you can do with this design. So, I will finish this out. Okay, and here is the end result of the splatter paint black flowers on French tips. I love it. I love this. So there you go. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you try these, show me on my Instagram, Robin Moses Nail Art, because I really want to see it. And you guys have a wonderful night, and I'll see you back with more. Bye! Bye.